How is it going, everybody? This is RBT coming at you with my Liberty Bowl recap video. Mississippi State blows out Rice 44-7 and wins the Liberty Bowl. And this is actually the third game of the day and the third blowout of the day. Every game has been a blowout. The Sun Bowl, the Independence Bowl, they all been blowouts, and this one was no different. This is probably, matchup-wise, the biggest blowout by far. Uh, because it was a complete mismatch all game long. It seems like all the bowl, there's not really been one close bowl game this season. There's maybe been a couple, maybe two or three, but the rest has just been blowouts. The best game of the bowl season so far is probably the first game, the, the Washington State Colorado State game. It's, aside from that, it's not been any crazy finishes, all blowouts, and that's kind of kind of disappointing. But let's get into this game. Uh, not much else to say. Except that Mississippi State completely dominated this game. Rice went out to a 7-0 lead midway through the first quarter, but then when Mississippi State got on the board, there was no looking back, no looking back at all. Their defense played magnificent. The offense was light out from the end of the first quarter to the end. It was a complete mismatch. Rice couldn't run the football. Rice couldn't throw the football, and that surprised me because I thought this, I thought Mississippi State was going to win this game. I had them picked, but I thought Rice, with their offense, was going to was going to stay pretty close to Mississippi State and make it a game. But it looked like that halfway through the first quarter, but after that, man, it was it was all Mississippi State. Uh, Dak Prescott had a magnificent game throwing the football. He ran for a ton of yards. The defense stopped uh, Taylor Hargue. Is that how you pronounce his name? Uh, let me see. Uh, Taylor. Yeah, Mick Hargue. He, he looked really impressive. I've seen him play a couple times this season, specifically the first game against Texas A&M. Looked very impressive. Their running game looked impressive. And they could not do anything all day. And that was a shocker. Um, only one turnover for each team. So turnovers wasn't a big factor. And time of possession. Uh, pretty much in Mississippi State's uh, way. But it it was it was, it was a, it was a complete mismatch. And probably the, the biggest blowout so far in the bowl season by far. Um, and you just listen to these, these stats. And they'll probably, you, can, you can tell if you didn't watch the game. A uh, third downs. Bryce was 414. Doesn't seem doesn't seem great, but doesn't seem as bad as I can get. But listen, to Mississippi State, it's eight of twelve. That is magnificent on third downs. That's that's a great. If you if you can't, they could not get off the field in third downs. Rice couldn't on defense. So if if you're already the underdog and you're not stopping the team on third downs, you're not going to have a good chance. Total yards. Now catch this one. 533 for Mississippi State to 145 of Rice. That was that that's, that shows you right there. 294 passing yards for Mississippi State, 84 for Rice. Rushing yards 239 for Mississippi State, 61, 61 for Rice. That that was uh not not too good. Wasn't Rice? Let me check something real quick. I'm pretty sure Rice won. The Conference USA. Did they win the Conference USA? Yes, they did. This so this is the Conference USA champion getting blown out by a mid-tier SEC team. So that was that. That's a shocker. I thought Rice was going to compete a lot more, but it just seemed like it was a complete mismatch. And Mississippi State was ready for everything Rice had going to them. So uh, I guess that's it, guys. Just a complete mismatch and a complete blowout. Um. So yeah. Uh, final stats. Individual wise, uh, Dak Prescott was 17 to 28, 283 yards, three touchdowns, no interceptions. He ran for 78, also with two touchdowns, so five total touchdowns. That's crazy. Probably one of the best bowl performances, maybe. Uh, him or, or Brett Hundley today both had great games. Well, Darius Perkins in his last game as a Bulldog had 47 yards and 13 carries. Not crazy. Uh, but receiving, he had Jamie on Lewis had six receptions for 220 yards. That that's a pretty big game. On the flip side, Rice didn't have anybody doing anything. He had Ross at 28 yards and 10 carries. He was the leading rusher. Had the one lone touchdown in the game from a yard out. And then Taylor McArgue, McArgue had eight, was 8 of 15, 84 yards, and not, no touchdowns, no interceptions. So it's not like they lost because of turnovers. Because normally in these games, when you see, see big blowouts like this, you, you normally expect it to be something to do with turnovers and turnovers being the decisive factor. But it wasn't. They just couldn't do anything. They, were, they weren't turning the ball over. They just couldn't do anything anything on offense and they couldn't stop Mississippi State so I guess that's it guys but still congratulations to Rice it was a good season when the Conference USA I mean that's the, their goal every single season and they got it done yes they could, could have played but better in the bowl game but still I thought it was a good season a 10-1 season for Rice that's that's a pretty big step in the right direction also for Mississippi State congratulations on a bowl win 
uh, everybody counted you out when the Egg Bowl came around. You needed to win the game, the biggest rivalry game for you. Uh, you needed to win that game to make it to a bowl game, and you won it in dramatic fashion. So congratulations to you on a strong finish to the season, and congratulations on a Liberty Bowl victory. So I guess that's it, guys. Leave a comment section. Leave a comment section. Leave a comment in the comment section below. If you're a fan of either of these two teams, let me know what you thought about the game, and let me know what you think this game means, and the season means, for your team going forward. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more bowl game coverage. I'm going to be coming at you with recaps of every single bowl game this bowl season. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash srtr, and make sure to big hit that like button. It means a lot to me. So I guess that's it, guys. As always, roll tight, go Sox, go Titans. You have a happy and safe New Year. Drive safe tonight. Catch you guys later. Peace.